as audio stuff. Today I will talk about my about 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 my live set. What I do when I perform on a stage in a venue with artists by myself. So this setup I have designed to play with an artist called No Fix Identity. This setup and that song that I played in the beginning is one of her songs. Everybody uses different type of live setup. Mine is based on Push 2 and then I have Arturia Microprude Semi-Modular Synthesizer which is amazing, fun tool just to make some more sounds and be more hands-on instrumental way of playing music, some sense. In some sense. Push 2 then, basically. Push 2 is my lover. I'm obsessed about push. There's many reasons for it. The main reason is that I can control everything on a stage. So I only have one session. I have a laptop somewhere nearby. I just put push on, put the computer on. I'm thirsty. I have about seven, eight songs for the whole set in here. I can go through the uh, session view on Ableton just one by one. Oh. I can just go through the whole setup, just pressing up and down and to the right, just find my samples, my loops, everything is there, all my effects, my instruments, my samples, everything that I need. Also looping, so I use sometimes with the violin or actually I loop the microbrute, so I put the microbrute as a line input into the interface where I can then run it through a, a um, track on Ableton and then I can just loop it while I play on live. Yeah, so there's a, it basically push just controls everything and it's my rock. I don't need to stress about tempo or pitch or anything. I can just go on the stage, just turn it on and that's it. I can, I can feel relaxed as a musician, not just person pressing buttons. Uh, push is run to USB to the laptop and then microbrute is with the line into the interface and then laptop is into the interface and then interface is to the DI box. Super simple. These two are standing on a... <laughs> so it's a keyboard stand and a ironing board. This ironing board has probably never seen laundry, but it has seen a lot of semi-module, module synthesizers and interfaces. Although I think my husband sometimes irons, but I like my synths on it. So that allows me to stand up on a stage, have stable table, stable table on a stage. Fun. So next what I will show you is how do I control all this? Oh, yeah. Anyway, now I'm gonna run you through how I control it all. Okay, so here we are. This is my push. That's the microbute. So basically, this is just connected to the speakers, to the interface, so I can just do whatever I want with it. I can go with octaves. so much fun so basically this just allows me to play around with different oscillators and envelope and and good for improvisation and push so what i have in here is all the names of the songs so here we can see the first song it's just one sample and then we go to this one I double click it and you can see all the samples that come in and there is also one that I have a filter in it's a lot of fun to play around with I can also go to the master channel which allows me to control different effects so I have the master channel effects there and these are the instrument effects that allow me to control all that here are some samples of the instrument and when I go over here there's an instrument synth. So I can control the synth, I can control the FX and the instruments all same time. And when I double click it again, it goes back to the main area where I can just go and select the song. So you can see I go down and you can see that all the songs in different scenes on the session view on Ableton. Like this. So here you can see both of the synths. I will show you how I can loop things. And I press here and I will start the sample. 
simple it is. So what I just did there activated both of the synth channels and I just pressed the button so, uh, loop some of the synth into push. But you can also do that with a pedal. I sometimes do that as well or you can use a looper. It's a plugin in Ableton which allows you to loop on stage really really easily. Okay so let's go now into Ableton and I will show you how the session goes in there. Hi guys! Okay, so we are here now on my um, Ableton Live set. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight songs on these uh, tracks. And these all are groups. So, as I said before, I was showing the one song where I was double clicking it. So, with push, so I double click it, and here you have, you can see, so all the tracks that come under that song. So, all the eight songs and their samples are in different scenes. So, if I scroll down, you can see the lower scenes as well. There seems to be a little gap over in the middle where I have adjusted some samples, but otherwise everything is just like a staircase. And here we have on the right, we have two synth tracks, so we can just activate both of them and that allows us to do looping and also play the instrument through Ableton. Here we have a looper uh, plugin from Ableton that allows you to also loop things on the stage and it kind of minimizes also the feedback that might come from if you use microphones. Okay, so that's my live set. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back another Sunday. What else? What else? Tell me what kind of audio stuff would you like to see me to do? Let me know. Thank you so much for being here, watching me uh, talk about fun button stuff that makes sounds. Please remember to subscribe and tell a friend, tell your mother, tell your dad, <laughs> tell your sister, your brother about my channel. Hit the bell icon so you will remember when I post next time. Yes, bye!